The story I'm going to be telling you folks is not something I read about, not something my parents told me about. I was there. He tells his story with the hope others won't have to live it. And I'll never forget to this day, in the quiet of the night, these German soldiers yelling at the top of their lungs, Alle Jungen, raus! All Jews, get out! Born in Amsterdam in 1935, Pete Metzelaar, first forced to wear a yellow star, went into hiding with his mother after Nazis captured his father and other relatives. For two years, he and his mother hid on a farm with a Christian family, sometimes beneath their floorboards. There were numerous times that the Germans were walking a foot and a half over my head. All it would have taken is one cough, one sneeze, one hiccup, it would have been all over. About twice a month, representing the Holocaust Center for Humanity, Metzelar tells his survival story to middle and high schoolers. He doesn't get gory, he doesn't have to. The plain facts are bad enough. His father, aunt, uncle, and grandparents were all murdered at Auschwitz. It was the largest, the most inhumane, piece of hell that man ever created for man. It strongly encourages instruction on the Holocaust. Under a law just signed, middle and high schools are now encouraged to include the Holocaust as part of history lessons. After three years, the lessons might be made yes. mandatory statewide. You can call them their witnesses now. You know, they're witnesses to my, to my story. Metzlar testified in favor of the bill so more students would hear stories like his, something he says is especially needed today. You can truly say that it had to do with Germany and the Jewish people, but you can almost go beyond that in today's setting. What it had to do is what mankind is capable of doing to mankind. And the thing that scared me any every time. It's at this time they're going to come get me. I am so scared. He hopes by teaching the dangers of propaganda and intolerance, students will learn hatred is not the answer. It's a message he says has an impact every time. You're just not breaking down and I am and I didn't even go through any of this. Stand up. Give me a hug. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.